minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and lift off from Falcon 9, go Falcon, go Intel Tab Galaxy 33 and 34. Falcon 9 is pitching down range. Plus 40 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 successfully lifting off from Pad 40 at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying Intelsat's Galaxy 33 and 34 satellites to orbit. Now, during ascent, we have begun tilting the engine, that's technically called gimbling, and we've begun what's called a gravity turn. So we're beginning to move the rocket horizontally. We're still going up, but we're also going horizontally out Falcon over 9 the Atlantic. Is supersonic. Now at this point, we're just a few seconds away for maximum dynamic pressure, max Q, right after we get supersonic. Max Q. With that, we are at the through the highest point of stresses as we're going up through the Earth's atmosphere. Now, going back to what I was saying about going horizontally, a rocket needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour to get into orbit. So our velocity is gonna keep ticking up. You can see that on the left-hand side of your screen to take these satellites to their uh, ultimate orbit, orbital destination. Coming up, we've got three events in quick succession. First of those will be MECO, that's main engine cutoff. This is where we shut down all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Following that, we'll have stage separation. The first and second stages will separate. And then we'll have second engine start number one, SES-1. That's where we'll ignite the Merlin vacuum engine okay, on the second stage. So again, three events happening back to back, MECO, stage separation, SES-1, those will happen about 20 seconds from now. Great shots from the ground. You can see as the uh, atmosphere is getting less dense, the plume expanding behind the rocket. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. There we go, those three events back to back. So with that, the first stage will start making its way back to planet Earth for recovery. Our second stage has a pretty long burn to go. Next major milestone here will be coming up at about T plus three and a half minutes. That'll be fairing deployment. Now both of these fairings, oh, that's a great shot. You can see the first stage, I believe on the right and the second stage on the left. And those periodic uh, bursts you're seeing there from the first stage attitude control system, helping reorient it, get the heat shields down. Let's see if we'll also get to see fairings. Yep, Fairing you can see them. Confirmed. Left hand side of your screen, those two white blobs coming off of uh, the second stage are fairings. These fairings have flown five times each. We will be attempting to retrieve them today and use them on a future mission. continue on nominal trajectories. We're about T plus four minutes into today's mission. Had a successful liftoff just four minutes ago. We're in the first of two planned Merlin vacuum burns for satellite deployment. Left-hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's first stage. We've got a view looking down towards the engines. You can see that the grid fins have deployed in preparation for atmospheric re-entry. On the right-hand side of your screen, a great shot of the Merlin vacuum engine glowing brightly, with planet Earth in the background and some sunlight behind. The second stage on the right-hand side of your screen is carrying the Intelsat Galaxy 33 and 34 satellites to orbit. Next major milestone is uh, just under two minutes from now. That'll be the first stage's entry burn. 
for that will ignite three of the Merlin 1D engines, starting with the center engine and then two of the radial engines. And that, that's amazing. That's a great view. You can see uh, we just launched at the perfect time here. So we're catching sunlight off of the top of the Earth's atmosphere. It's reflecting off of the plume of the rocket. Uh, I love to call this, this the space jellyfish or the space octopus. But at the altitude that the rocket is at, the sun hasn't quite set yet. So we're just seeing the plume of the sunlight reflecting. Fantastic. Now, as I was saying, entry burn coming up for the first stage, left-hand side of your screen. That burn uh, helps slow down the first stage for recovery as we start hitting the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And during that entry burn, we're decelerating, firing the Merlin engines, but the plume of the rocket is coming back on the vehicle. And so that ends up leaving that nice soot deposit that we see on the surface of Falcon 9's when we get them back on recovery. You're seeing some white gas bursts on the left-hand side of your screen. That's from the attitude control system. We carry nitrogen gas on the first stage. Since you don't have an atmosphere to push off of in space, we have to produce some thrust to reorient the vehicle, and that comes from those nitrogen gas thrusters. Second stage burn continuing to look nominal. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one introvert startup. So again, three Merlin 1D engines igniting here, plume coming back on the vehicle, slowing us down. This burn just about 20 seconds long. Entry burn shut down. And successful shutdown of the entry burn. So with that, the first stage is going to do a little bit of reorienting, make sure its heat shield is pointed down. And as we start getting into the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere, those grid fins start to become stage much more effective. And the whole reason for doing this is because we want to reuse this booster. Reusability is the key to lowering the cost of spaceflight. That enables us to make more investments in critical scientific research. And as I mentioned earlier, the first stage that's supporting today's mission is making this burn for the 14th time, having done it for GPS-3 Space Vehicle 3, TurkSat 5A, Transporter 2, and 10 Starlink missions. Stage 2 terminal guidance. So with that call out for Stage 2 terminal guidance, we're coming up on uh, second engine cutoff, or SECO, number stage 1. Stage 1 is transonic. That call out there indicating that we are passing through the speed of sound as we're getting through the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Next major milestone for the first stage will be its landing burn. Just a single Merlin engine will ignite, followed by landing leg deploy. Stage two, FTS has safe. And hopefully a soft touchdown. Stage one, landing burn. Landing burn start. You just heard the call out there for second engine cutoff on the second stage. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing is confirmed. Awesome. Successful stage landing orbit insertion. on our drone ship about six. Loss of signal, Cape. 600 kilometers off the coast of Florida. You also heard in there the second engine cutoff on our second stage. So just handling them in order here. 146th recovery for an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Second stage completed its burn. It's in the nominal orbit, but the mission isn't over just yet. It's embark the second stage is going to embark on its first coast phase during Following that coast phase, we are going to light the Merlin vacuum engine for a second time. That'll happen about 26 minutes into the mission. So we're going to see you back here in about 17 minutes. In the meantime, enjoy the space tunes. Enjoy this awesome view of Falcon 9 and the space jellyfish.